Okay, so we've, in a previous lesson, created a whole bunch of, of HTML pages, lakes, that all link to uh, a photo that, of the lake and a small description of each lake. What are we going to do with it? Well, we're going to turn it into a little bit more organized presentation here. Something that would uh, look as though it has a, a frame on the left that has the names of those lakes and a frame on the right that has a picture of those lakes. That's the, the intended goal. So we'll put on the left-hand frame something called menu.html. We haven't created it yet. And on the right-hand side, we're going to have the individual lake. Or if we begin and we don't have a lake named, then we're going to have a file called main.html. So we look at menu.html and it has all your standard stuff for the heading, uh, link back to the style sheet and so on. And then we're going to have a table, uh, border equals one, and uh, set up some rows. And in each row, we're going to have an href, an anchor. href equals the name of the lake. And we're going to close that, of course, slash a, for anchor. And in between is going to say, in this case, broomstick lake, the first lake. So that will mean that broomstick lake, when you click on it, it will go to broomstickleak.html. However, we've got to add something else. Target equals mainframe. Special to note the way I spelled mainframe with a capital F. This is a variable. It, it's the name of the frame. Now, we haven't seen the frames yet. So I'm going to do that all the way down for all the other lakes. So I have the name of the lake, which I can write in English. So I have broomstick lake has a capital B and a capital L and a space in it. Although broomsticklake.html, that's a file name. So our rule in the class is all lowercase, no spaces. And that goes all the way through for Candle Lake, all the way down to West Caroga Lake. And they all have a target of mainframe. Each one a separate entry in the table. At the end, I'll put a uh, link back to the web page, home. Uh, that is the, the, the main index.html page. But you'll notice there, dot dot slash index.html will get me there, but the target equals single quote, well, it's going to be in quotes, underscore top. And that means whatever you're in, whatever browser window you're in, start at the top. Don't be inside of another frame. Go back to the top. So that's what that is. It's going to wipe out whatever you're at. Now, in the main.html, I don't really need to put much there. You know, your standard stuff on top, and just click on a link on the left to view a lake is all it says. And, of course, it. I also put a, a link back to the web page, the home. A little redundant to have both, but I've got it there. Now, in the old days, I would have set this up as a frame set. And inside a frame set are two frames. However, HTML5 says no to that. So... We've got to do it a little differently. We're going to use something called an iframe. Now, we're going to begin with my standard information about index.html. Head, title, and body. And I'm going to set up a table there. You'll notice the width is going to be equal to 100%. And I'm going to set up a table row. And inside the table row, I'm going to have two cells, table data. So td to slash td, for two of them. And the first one... I'm going to say that TD is going to have a width of 10%. Now, I could have done that other ways. I could have done that inside of a style sheet and set that to be a class equal to, and uh, sometimes I'll do it that way. But inside that first table data, I'm going to have an iframe. And the iframe is going to be named menu frame. I could have named it anything. The source is going to be menu.html. And the second one is going to be a name, but this one I had to call it main frame with a capital F. That was important. And the source will be main.html. So when it loads, it will begin by loading the main.html page. Now, as I look at it, it doesn't look quite right to me. I said, uh, we got to do something about that. So what am I going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is add a class to each of those so that I can tell it some information about that in a style sheet. Now, I haven't specified any style sheet on this uh, index page, and that's fine. 
So I'm going to actually make this style just something inside this page and this page only. So inside my head, I have a style to slash style. I'm not linking to another CSS page. And the first one I'm going to put is menu, dot menu. That means it's a class called menu, open, close, curly braces. And the second one will be main. And in both cases, I'm going to say width equal 100%. So when we look at that, we can see that the width of the whole thing is going to be 100% because each one takes up the frame. Remember, the, the table was supposed to be 100%, of which the first TD is only 10%. Second uh, TD is the remainder. Now, not big enough, so let's go and add height. In the uh, menu one and in the main one, I'm going to have 850 px. In this case, there, there are some complicated ways to get around if I wanted to do percent for uh, height, but height typically is in pixels, so uh, I've got them both at 850 pixels. And at that point, it looks just like it's supposed to. 